Today in this video, I will do a, my analysis on an AITSL video on mathematics in a primary school classroom in Melbourne. I was looking at a grade three, four level maths class at St. Albans Primary School. The overall lesson looked at three main mathematical concepts. These included fractions, decimals, and whole numbers. The way students were able to critically engage in these three topics was through the implementation of behaviours of the teacher throughout the lesson and at the end. Behaviours I saw in this class included sharing and collaborative learning, which helped with overall student engagement and teamwork throughout activities, the reflection and the engagement part. The teacher used content, concrete materials and visuals which helped develop their understanding of the content provided. The visuals included chocolate and a whiteboard which helped students look at what they were learning today. Teachers engaged, the teacher engaged students during the lesson as a whole through class discussions, through visuals on the whiteboard and open-ended questions to reassure their knowledge and understanding of the content provided. The teacher engaged students as individuals through questions, visuals of paper chocolate, and a hands-on task. The theory of constructivism, which McPhail 2016 described, as students are constructors of their own learning and development. This allows students to understand their learning and use the teacher practices to enrich their learning experience. Wellbeing is supported through regular questioning, teacher engaging students in visuals, and lessons around student learning capabilities. This enhances students' well-being and learning throughout the lesson. This ties in the theory of behaviorism, which Hyun Sung et al. 2012 described as continuous learning. That allows students to develop understanding through repetition and thorough understanding when reading it out over and over. The teacher's approach had many similarities to mine. This included visuals and structured lessons. Visuals which are hands-on and a structured lesson which flows throughout the day helps students maintain engagement throughout the entire lesson. These are important for all students from many ages, including in this grade three, four mathematics class. But the differences I found included the collaborativeness and the teamwork. There weren't many collaborative ways in which students were able to interact with other students. They were sitting on a table and with a partner. There wasn't many mixing around with each other. And the teamwork, that ties in with the previous thing I stated. Students who are welcomed into a structured program, respectful teaching practice which teachers implement, and a positive learning environment that Horner and Macaba 2018 described as a positive feedback and positive learning experience for both teachers and students. It provides students the opportunity to develop further understanding of content and to help them thrive in a continuous, positive, structured learning experience with support provided around them. 